Hi, welcome to Real Magic Review. My name is Steve Faulkner and this is Spring by Jonas Mengel. Before we do this, can you please like and subscribe and very importantly, in a minute, go and have a look at onlinemagic.co. Most of you will know what it is. Uh, those new to the channel may not. That's my online magic course over 600 videos, live sessions, every single week on Zoom. You can come and hang out with me and many other magicians and there's no better way to learn than to just hearing people talk and show each other and jam and session and, um, and chat about magic. So have a look at that. But also so many uh, pre-recorded videos on there on rope magic, coin magic, uh, mentalism, uh, the four, fourth dimensional telepathy last week, which is such a stunning routine. We did a whole session on that, but that's all uploaded onto the site. Also, uh, like and subscribe if you like it and you want to subscribe to it. If you want to share this, it would be lovely. Just to say to someone, have you seen Steve's uh, YouTube channel? Is you know, I'm, I'm, I don't take it lightly to get one extra person. I, I really, really appreciate everybody that watches this channel. So, um, oh, and look, look at my slight artist T-shirt. So, Ma Magicish is the company doing clothing for magicians and mugs and things like that. Uh, it's very cool. I love niche stuff like this. So do check it out. The the stuff is well made. It's not tacky, which a lot of clothing for magicians could very much be. Um, and I'm really into it. So slide, I have a look at the links below. It's not an affiliate link, nothing like that. Just for, you know, credit where credit's due. And you'll probably see me wearing a lot more of their stuff. So they do hoodies and hats and stuff as well. Now, but not for now because it's boiling, as you can probably see from my ridiculous red face. I've got the blinds open, so the lighting's going to be all over the place. Um, but it's a beautiful day here in the UK, and that's a rarity sometimes. So, it, well, maybe not this time of year, but uh, we certainly do make the most of it. So, <laughs> I just realised... I just realised that I went into a whole thing talking about the weather, which isn't very English of me at all, is it? So, spring. I've tried. I've really tried. So, this is a trick based on, based on, expanded upon the, the famous puzzle, which is, you know, that goes there, you put that on there, you say to someone, you know, get it off and they can't get it off and it's a puzzle. And they go, oh, I can't get it off. And then you can, you can show them it and you, you know, get it off very quickly, which I actually can't do now because <laughs> I've just done it wrong. Literally right through. Here, it seems like you want to check it out here. You yeah, I do want to check it out. Is that ring solid? <laughs> yeah, I looked at the ring, bro. It was solid. <laughs> this is a long forgotten puzzle turned into one of the most classic and iconic plots in magic. And it goes straight through. What the f***? Um, what they've done is, or what he's done, is taken this and made more of a magic trick out of it. So there's bits where people hold it and the, the ring, the coil goes on the ring. You see it, it completely penetrates. So you, you do that and it's penetrated the ring as you're holding each side of it and all this kind of stuff. Um, and part of me when I saw it went, yeah, it looks good. There's some good moves, there's some good ideas. It looks cool. But, and I remember the puzzle that you get in the Christmas crackers. So the minute I saw it, I'm going, it's a puzzle you get in Christmas crackers. And it, and it is that, and no matter what is done with it, I cannot help but think it's that thing. Now, Okay, let's let's pretend you don't know that it's a it's based on a puzzle that comes in Christmas crackers or a puzzle you can buy, which is a very cool puzzle, by the way. It's a re I've, I've always loved it. You know, it's one of those things that really thought of, and it would be, you know, I kind of knew it as a kid, and then years later I saw it, forgot how it was done, and went, that's really cool. Um, but again, it didn't take that long to work out. But it does, it does throw up this question of. What is a magic trick and what is a puzzle? So as I was going to say, let's presume that nobody has seen the puzzle, that's, that somebody hasn't seen this. Now, I've just shown this to someone and they hadn't seen it. Did it get a reaction? Yeah, it did. You know, so they they kind of liked, they kind of went, oh, and, and then started kind of trying to work it out. And that's the puzzle aspect of it. And I showed it to a few people and I said to them afterwards, Tell me, just ask me a question, be totally honest. Does that feel like a, a magic trick or a piece of magic or does it feel a bit uh, like a puzzle? And I just left it at that and I didn't sort of explain what I meant by that. 
most people said it feels like a puzzle. I kind of want to, want to have a look at it and work out how it's done. Now, of course, that is the same with magic tricks, but I wasn't getting that response, and that's the thing. Now, clearly, you can get a good response to this trick. You know, there are responses on the on the trailers, and I don't think all of them are staged. I think they're genuine, but the problem is that if I've got a little thing in the back of my mind of people thinking, of me thinking, there's a percent, a, there's a chance that this person has seen a version of this and kind of straight away is going to be able to work out what it is. And if I've got that in my mind, it's not going to replace anything I already do. And I don't want to perform, I didn't want to take this, this out. And even though I showed it to the people next door that know that I review magic tricks, they know it's not me, they know it's not me performing for them, they still kind of went, oh, you can do better than that, Steve. And, that, and, that, and, that's, and they, they're not the sort of people that would say that to me. They, it was not easy for them to say that. So for them to say that, I kind of think there's something missing here. Now, let's play devil's advocate. I probably didn't do it as well as somebody that's really been practicing really, really hard with this. I did the basic thing of the ring going through with the fingers closed and getting stuck on it. I think it's if I had it on me and I was just playing around with people and I kind of said, what do you think of this? It's kind of a fun thing, but there's no longevity in it for me. There's not... And even if I, I could look at it and go, well, that looks like a kind of linking ring routine, I'd rather do a linking ring routine. If I'm going to go that, that, to that place, I'd rather go there with something that I know is going to... I can build a routine and if you can with this, but more and has more to it. So for me, this isn't anything other than a good way to do that puzzle. It does also really, really require them to take this and have a look at it afterwards. I don't think you could do it without that. And any trick for me that that, that is a requirement, or nearly, there are some maybe that I think you need to do that and it doesn't ruin the trick, but anything that requires a trick to happen and then to work when they're holding it, to work, work it out, I, I think is, again, theatrically, it doesn't really work for me in this in this case. So... This is that thing that many of you will know about. It's repackaged very nicely. Is it a quality prop? Well, I suppose so, but, but you can't really go wrong, can you? It's a spring and a, and a hoop. Um, it's not really thick. It's, it just feels kind of what it is. And I'm very underwhelmed with this, I'm afraid to say. But let me know. I'd love to know. And I always say this whenever I, something doesn't really you know, do anything for me. I'd love to know if anything, anybody's been getting killer re reactions with this and consistently. That's the important thing. Uh, I've only done it a few times, not getting anything from it, not getting any responses from it. Um, and generously, a couple of people have kind of gone, oh, yeah, that's, that's kind of cool. And, and that's about it. So it's, it's a kind of no from me. But there you go. Um, we'd love to hear any different stories. Thanks very much for watching. As I said, check out onlinemagic.co. Check out Magic-ish. And um, like and subscribe. Tell your friends. I'll be back soon. Come and join us on a Thursday evening session at five o'clock. God, it's so hot in here. Uh, I hope I'm looking at myself in the monitor, hoping that that's the saturation and colour and not my face, but we'll see because I've just been sitting out in the sun <laughs> writing this review. Uh, so there you go. I'll stop rambling now. Take care. See ya.